Sprocket takes us to Marathon in the Keys, Marathon, Florida. Here we are pulling into Jolly Roger Campgrounds in Marathon, Florida. It's a large campground. It does have a swimming pool, laundry facilities, full hookups for most of the sites. And of course, we always prefer the waterfront sites if we can get them, especially in the Keys. You can't go wrong with them. So this is our waterfront site that we will be coming up to. And you can swim off the wall. You can snorkel. You can float around. All kinds of great stuff. There's also a boat dock and a beach on the other side. This is our Jolly Roger setup, Marathon, Florida Keys. We just got into Marathon. <laughs> Inside it's nice and dry and roomy and comfy. Pups are just chilling, waiting out the storm. The next day is clear skies and we're excited to see what our first day in Marathon brings us. We'll start it off with some swimming and snorkeling in the water just off our campsite. Here's a great look at the campground along with a visit from our friends later in the evening. Pigeon Key is a little island that if you're driving across the seven mile bridge you might look out and see a little island and wonder what is that? Well it's actually a historical place called Pigeon Key and when we were there you could take the ferry out but they were discontinuing the ferry and you either had to uh, ride a bicycle which would be a lot of fun or they were going to add a shuttle. I don't know if the shuttle's in place yet but it's definitely worth the trip. It's a good way to spend an afternoon. You can take your snorkel gear and snorkel and just hang out and enjoy the water and the sights.
morning took the boys out on a chartered fishing trip, which they enjoyed very much. They used the group main attraction, and uh, we'll see if they catch some fish. lucky enough to see this guy hanging out at the dock. Too small. While the boys fished, Misty and I went shopping and then we met at Sparky's Landing, which is a wonderful restaurant in Marathon owned by a very longtime friend of mine. So I was excited to finally get to go there. It was wonderful. And we brought our fish and they cooked it for us, which you can actually get your fish cooked at quite a few places in Marathon. And it was delicious. <laughs> And our last day in Marathon, we were able to take Tony's boat out and head out about six miles to the crystal clear blue water for some snorkeling.
beautiful morning here in Marathon, and unfortunately we have to leave today. Very sad, because it's a perfect day snorkeling. for paddling, and we just snorkeled. And um, here's our Marathon sticker. We hope you like what you saw. Please subscribe and like our channel, and happy camping and safe travels.